thing is huge. It's a 27 kilometer underground ring located at a CERN facility near Geneva, Switzerland. Humanity was nearly erased, not by war or plague, but by a single particle forged in the heart of CERN. In an experiment that pushed past all safety limits, scientists accidentally created a strangelet, a hypothetical doomsday particle capable of converting our entire planet into a lifeless sludge. While it decayed in milliseconds, its brief existence proved their safety models were worthless. By playing God and splitting a singularity, the scientists paid a horrifying price, the realization they had forged a weapon capable of our quiet annihilation. Now, there is a lot of work uh, going on to study it. Uh, it's a little bit like you discover a new cave in a mountain, then you take a lot of time in order to explore the cave and, and to understand how this cave goes. What they didn't know was that for a few milliseconds, their finger was already on the trigger. The day the universe glitched. In 2023, scientists at the Large Hadron Collider did more than just hunt for the God particle. They pushed the machine past every theoretical limit. Deep beneath the border of France and Switzerland, they achieved energies once thought to be pure science fiction. For a sliver of a moment, for just 0.003 seconds, the very rules of reality bent. Gravity warped, information bled through from somewhere else, and our universe will never forget what they did. This wasn't some publicly announced test. Truth be told, most of the staff at CERN had no idea what was about to happen. It was an after-hours experiment run by a skeleton crew pushing the collider into a high-energy state no one had dared to attempt before. That's when it appeared, a microscopic singularity, unbelievably hot and decaying at a blistering rate. But then it did something that's not in any textbook. It split. This wasn't a collision or a predictable decay, it was a clean tear in something that should be unbreakable. And that's when the team realized the data streaming onto their screens wasn't just surprising, it was impossible. The control room footage, which has never been released, shows the exact moment all hell broke loose. You can see the lead physicists' faces go pale as detector readings spiked into the red, showing radiation levels never before recorded on Earth. Emergency systems kicked in automatically, flooding the chamber with coolant. Then, an eerie silence. The data showed something unprecedented had just happened. The singularity had divided into two distinct entities, both blasting out hawking radiation with an intensity that completely overwhelmed our planet's most advanced sensors. But the fried equipment wasn't what left them horrified. It was the aftermath. For a fleeting moment, the split had created a genuine tear in the fabric of space-time. Think about that. They didn't just knock on the door of reality, they kicked it clean off its hinges. The question wasn't just if they had punched a hole through the membrane of our universe. The real question, the one that keeps them up at night, is what might have peeked back through. What the team saw in the data was something that defied both quantum mechanics and general relativity. The laws of physics, as we know them, simply do not allow a singularity to be torn in two. So what does it mean when the impossible happens right in front of your eyes? It means you've stumbled into a game with rules you don't understand. A message from nowhere. After the split, the flood of radiation wasn't just random noise. The patterns were structured, organized. It looked like an interference pattern, as if something was echoing out from within the tear. Some physicists now believe it was a brief, terrifying quantum feedback loop. Get this. The energy from one half of the split began feeding into the other half, which then fed back into the first, creating a self-sustaining cycle that grew stronger every millisecond until it finally collapsed. But before it winked out of existence, one thing became terrifyingly clear. 
the information that was supposed to be trapped inside the black hole didn't stay there. The data collected in those crucial milliseconds is sending shockwaves through the scientific community. Dr. Elena Costez, a quantum physicist from MIT, put it bluntly, we've never seen anything like it. The emission pattern had a structure that suggests information transfer. This completely spits in the face of what we thought we knew. Stephen Hawking's theories were clear. Anything that falls into a black hole is either lost forever or scrambled into meaningless garbage. Yet the split singularity seemed to leak information in a coherent repeating pattern. The detectors registered pulses with mathematical precision. It looked less like radiation and more like a signal, almost like a code. It's as if the vacuum of space itself began to resonate, to hum with a message. This quantum feedback loop generated waves of gravitational distortion, temporarily changing the very properties of the space around the experiment. For a few heart-stopping moments, the fundamental constants that act as our reality's rulebook, the strength of gravity, the speed of light, were fluctuating. Computers in the lab crashed. Monitoring systems logged what one terrified researcher later called reality glitches. The most chilling possibility is that the split singularity didn't just leak old information out. It momentarily connected our universe to something else entirely. Another dimension, a parallel reality, or something so alien we don't even have a name for it. The data strongly suggests something escaped, information that leaked across a boundary that should have been absolutely unbreakable. And here's the thought that will give you nightmares. If information can leak out, what's to stop something from leaking in? Reality's back door. Weeks later, when CERN's top analysts finally managed to piece together the full data set, they found the real bombshell. The radiation signature from the split didn't match any known particle decay, but it did match something else, something far, far bigger. The energy profile was a dead ringer for patterns we see in simulations of the early universe, specifically the radiation from the inflation era right after the Big Bang. That's when the question no one wanted to ask finally had to be spoken. Did they accidentally create a tiny, localized Big Bang? And if so, did they do it inside our own universe? Think of it this way. A black hole is already nature's ultimate extreme. It's where our laws of physics go to die. At its heart is the singularity, a point where space and time as we know them simply cease to exist. CERN created a baby version of this cosmic monster, but instead of just watching it die, they saw it tear itself in two. It's like taking the most fundamental atom of reality and slicing it down the middle. And in that slice, the code of the universe was exposed. There's a fringe theory that some physicists only whisper about, the idea that the vacuum of space isn't empty at all. It's structured, encoded, they call it the vacuum code theory. It suggests that beneath everything we see, there's a kind of cosmic operating system, a set of deep down rules that defines the constants of nature. If that's true, then splitting a singularity isn't just releasing energy. It's like finding a back door into the universe's programming and hitting edit. For a few microseconds, gravity weakened. Particle decay rates went haywire. Time itself jittered, and thousands of miles away on a forgotten windswept rock in the southern Indian Ocean known as Kerguelen Island, something else happened. A top-secret deep space monitoring station, a relic of the Cold War, registered a gravitational wave anomaly that no one at CERN even saw. It was a faint ripple, but it was global. The split hadn't just been a lab accident. It was an event that had physically touched the entire planet. The experiment had briefly overwritten the rules and the whole universe felt it. The most dangerous part is what could have crawled through that momentary back door while the universe's firewall was down. The gray goo particle.
Buried deep in the mountains of post-event data was a single particle that should not, could not, exist. It was a quark cluster that didn't fit any known pattern in the standard model. It was heavy, stable for a few precious milliseconds, and had a slightly off charge. To the physicists who found it, its signature was unmistakable. It looked just like a strangelet. Now, if you haven't heard of a strangelet, let me explain. It's a hypothetical chunk of matter made of strange quarks, and it has a terrifying theoretical property. It might be more stable than normal matter. The theory goes that if a stable strangelet ever formed, it could trigger a chain reaction, converting every normal atom it touches into more strange matter. No bang, no explosion just a silent, unstoppable conversion of the entire planet into a uniform dead sludge. A gray goo scenario. This isn't just some movie plot. This is a possibility that physicists have been worried about for decades. Before the LHC was even turned on, they ran extensive safety reviews to make sure they couldn't accidentally create one. The conclusion was always the same. The energies at the LHC should make stable strangelet production virtually impossible. That conclusion was supposed to be our safety net, but here was the proof right there in the data. A strangelet, which some denote as S0, had briefly formed during the singularity split. Luckily, this one was unstable and decayed after just 17 milliseconds, but its very existence was a brutal wake-up call. The safety models were wrong. The theories that said this was impossible had clearly missed something huge. Here's the kicker. It appeared during the one event nobody had ever planned for, the splitting of a quantum singularity. This suggests a terrifying link between bending the rules of space-time and creating exotic, potentially world-ending matter. By playing God, by tampering with the fabric of reality at its most basic level, the scientists at CERN had stumbled into a realm where our safety calculations mean nothing. When you start rewriting the source code of reality, you can't possibly predict what new, nightmarish programs might compile in the process. This wasn't just an unexpected discovery, it was a final warning that we are playing with a fire so fundamental that we can't even comprehend how badly we could get burned. The Unseen Scar The consequences of the split weren't just confined to a lab in Switzerland or a particle that winked out of existence. Within hours of the event, sensor networks across the globe started reporting tiny, almost imperceptible anomalies. But here's the thing, they were all connected. Atomic clocks in Japan and Germany, the most precise timekeeping devices ever built by man, showed a phase drift of one billionth of a percent. It's a tiny number, but they are supposed to be perfect. A weather satellite passing over the Atlantic Ocean registered a brief, inexplicable moment where gravity measured just slightly weaker than the baseline. It wasn't a catastrophe. There was no disaster, but taken together, the data paints a chilling picture. The universe now has a scar. The split didn't just tear a hole, it sent a ripple through space-time that has subtly and permanently altered our reality. The laws of physics didn't just glitch, they were patched, and the new version is just a tiny bit different. The competing theories are flying, was it a black hole relic that survived evaporation? Was it a massive vacuum fluctuation? Or as some theorists now privately suggest, did the singularity act as a boundary between our four-dimensional reality and something else? Not a portal, but a seam. And by splitting it, they temporarily unzip the fabric of the cosmos, exposing the interface between worlds. The data showing information being exchanged instantly across space supports this. It's as if, for a moment, everywhere was connected to everywhere else. The bottom line is this. Humanity, in its blind quest for knowledge, didn't just knock on a door. It took a cosmic sledgehammer to the final seal separating our reality from something else entirely. And for one horrifying splinter of a second, that seal shattered. The door wasn't just opened, 
It was violently torn from its hinges, exposing the fragile laws of our universe to a force they were never meant to encounter. We now live in the irrevocably altered aftermath of that moment. The universe didn't heal cleanly. It's now left with a tiny invisible scar, a festering wound on the very fabric of space-time that generates the ghostly anomalies our best instruments are now detecting. That permanent point of weakness is why atomic clocks drift and gravity flickers. The impossible didn't just happen once, its occurrence proved that our reality is fundamentally unstable and our understanding of safety is a comforting, childish lie. They played God and the price wasn't a sudden, fiery apocalypse. It was something far more terrifying, a quiet, permanent corruption of the universe's source code. We are no longer playing by the original rules. We are living in a patched, unstable version of the game, and we have no idea who or what wrote the update. We opened a door we can never truly close. Is it possible that by trying to understand the universe, we've only made ourselves a target for whatever lies beyond it? Let me know your thoughts below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more truths they don't want you to know.